everyone happy new year for all of you so i wish uh, 2023 will become a great successful year for you guys all right okay so uh, i think uh, this is the first lesson uh, in 2023 so today i took uh, it is chapter 22 out of life system lesson this is the uh, lesson number 5 so if you still not watched my previous videos regarding it is chapter 22 out of life system i will put the the link in my playlist so you can click this one and you can watch the previous videos and also if you are newcomer to aviation engineering so i'm keshara vikram singh Uh, I'm a professional aircraft maintenance technician. So, uh, okay, so no need to waste the time. Uh, and sorry, and also I want to tell if you're a newcomer, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, uh, Kvision Engineering. And also don't forget to uh, share these videos with your friends, relatives, or anyone who wants to learn about aircraft engineering. And also don't forget to press the bell icon. Then if you press the bell icon you will have more notifications when i upload a new video all right so no no need to waste the time we will go to the lesson all right so today i am going to teach at chapter 22 out of flight system general lesson number 5 flight director okay flight director all right so this lesson presents basic roles and functions of the flight directors all right okay so you can see the flight directors over there right flight directors over there and this is the pfd right so this is the flight management guidance computer 1 and 2 this is the distant measuring uh, computer dmc 1 2 3 right uh, okay you can see uh, the barrel pressure over there right heading vertical speed right this is the barrel pressure right okay so uh, first one is the engagement okay engagement uh the flight director functions engage automatically as soon as the system is electrically supplied and logic conditions are fulfilled all right and the flight director fd engagement is indicated on the flight control unit by the fd push button green bars and on the top right of each primary flight display all right you can see this is the flight director push button and you can see this is the indication in the primary flight display all right so in this case 1 fd2 you can see 1 fd2 indication is displayed on each pfd to show that fd1 okay flight director 1 is engaged on the captain side and the fd2 is engaged on the first officer side okay so on ground as long as no ap autopilot uh, flight director mode is active there are no flight director symbols on the pfd okay you can see that this is the primary flight display this is the navigation display remember on ground as long as no autopilot flight director mode is active there is no flight director symbols on the pfd all right you remember it all right so the next one is the principal principal so the flight director displays the flight management and guidance computer guidance commands on the both pfd right it means the flight director displays the flight management and guidance computer guidance commands on the both pfd so in manual flight so the flight director displays guidance order to help the pilots to apply commands on the controls in order to follow the optimum flight path which would be ordered by the autopilot if it were engaged all right so when the autopilot is engaged the flight director enables the flight management and guidance computer fgc demands to be checked all right okay uh all right next okay so then you can see the flight director modes are the same as the autopilot modes and are selected in the same way you can see the auto flight system control panel over there right okay so the flight management guidance computers calculate autopilot flight director orders it mean autopilot or flight director orders which are transformed into symbols by display management computer sorry before i said uh, distant measuring is not wrong this should be display management computers all right so there are two type of symbols okay you can see there are two types of symbols the flight director bars you can see the flight director bars and the flight path director and the flight path vector symbols all right so the central heading vertical speed okay or else uh, prk uh, 
flight path uh, i don't remember about this sorry push buttons on the flight control unit allows the pilot to switch between these two types of the symbols sorry uh, i cannot remember about this word so i will put uh, in the comment section as a, uh, or as uh, i will put in the 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 di uh, description the the meaning or the name of this uh, this word all right this uh, abbreviation all right okay and uh, upon flight control unit power up or in ground go around or when losing the autopilot during the rollout phase of the landing the three green bars of the flight director push buttons come on automatically okay these are the three green bars okay so a lit a uh, flight director push button means that the flight director symbols can be displayed on the corresponding pfd it corresponding means pfd1 for captain uh, flight director push button and pfd2 for the first officer flight director push button all right so this is the fis control panel okay this is the uh, ils ro uh, ros mode arc mode and plan mode okay uh, this is the flight director okay instruments landing system right okay so the next one if a lit flight director push button is pressed okay if a lit flight director push button is pressed right the uh, the green bars go off you can see the green bars go off pressing the push button again put the green bars on again all right so a non lit uh, flight director push button means that no flight director symbols can be displayed on the corresponding pfd so in this case uh, dash fd2 is displayed on the each pfd to show that no flight director symbols can be displayed on pfd1 and fd2 is engaged on the first officer side all right you can see the symbol over there right dash fd2 all right so the next one is fd blast flight flight director bars okay you can see the flight director bars so the flight director bars can be displayed provided heading vertical speed is selected on the flight control unit okay so the heading vertical speed is automatically selected at system power up so at certain system configuration changes the flight management guidance computers send a command to uh, 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 dmcs to make the flight director bars flash for 10 seconds all right so then autopilot flight director modes are correctly followed when the flight director bars are centered on the fixed aircraft model of the uh, primary flight displays all right okay so the next one there are three flight director bars okay there are three flight director bars the pitch bar the roll bar and the yaw bar all right so the horizontal pitch bar can be displayed if a vertical mode is active except during the rollout phase of landing remember it okay so the vertical roll bar can be displayed if the lateral mode is active all right so below 30 feet radio altitude at takeoff it means when a localizer signal is available and uh, during landing the roll bar is replaced by a yo bar index right so this bar is said to be concentered when just below the central yellow square you can see a small yellow square all right and then the uh, fpd and fpa symbols right fpd and fpa symbols all right so now the flight director and the flight path vector symbols right flight director and the flight path vector symbols can be displayed provided track flight uh, provided track flight path angle is selected on the fcu uh, sorry the uh, the before one i remember this one is a uh, flight path angle okay i will go to the again uh, the lesson uh, sorry uh, yeah this one track flight path angle okay track flight path angle remember it all right okay uh, yeah uh, we are there right the flight path direct and the flight path vector symbols can be displayed provided track flight path angle is selected on the flight control unit so at certain system configuration changes the flight management guidance computer sent a command to the dmcs to make the flight path director and flight path vector symbols flash for 10 seconds all right 
so autopilot flight director modes are correctly followed when the flight path direct and flight path vector symbols are superimposed right okay all right so you can see the the flight path director symbols provided command signal to the intercept and fly the lateral and vertical flight path as defined by the flight management guidance computer okay you can see the flight path director over there right this is the flight path uh, vector right so here you roll angle in order this is the flight path angle in order this is the flight path angle in order this is the uh, roll angle in order okay you can see the flight path director symbol is removed if no guidance mode is provided by the flight management guidance computer the flight path vector symbol represents lateral and vertical flight path information in term of current track and flight path angle actually being flown the flight path director symbol position is a computed by the air data initial reference system adirs okay so note the yo bar is identical to the fd bars case and appears with the same condition all right okay uh, that is uh, yeah that is the end of this lesson i think uh, you understand about the flight directors uh, this is a bit complicated so if you still not understand you watch this uh, video one or two or three times then you can understand and if you have any question please uh, comment below then i will uh, try to answer as soon as possible uh, yeah so thank you uh, thank you very much for participating in this lesson and next lesson you will going to learn about auto thrust this is also very important auto thrust uh, i will upload this video soon uh, if you still not subscribe to aviation engineering youtube channel please subscribe don't forget to uh, don't forget uh, it right and also uh, share these videos with your friends relatives anyone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance and also uh, don't forget to press the bell icon also all right okay uh, uh, today lesson is over uh, have a good day for all of you okay see you next time